Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei The Technomancer. Wir sind immer noch in Noctis und wir müssen jetzt diesen komischen Dandolo treffen. Und das machen wir jetzt mal eben, indem wir hier wieder zurücklaufen, die Treppe da hochlaufen und dann sind wir auch schon da. Ja, man so viel, immer, immer so viel laufen hier. Dann bin ich mal gespannt, was für ein Typ das ist. Checking the leading against me. Ah, and here comes the rare pearl, the diamond in the rough that my Nisha tells me about. Come, young man. Zachariah Manser. I am... was a lieutenant in Abundance. Then welcome to Noctus Labyrinthus, Zachariah Manser, former lieutenant of Abundance. I am Dandolo, head of this fair city. Legendary city of the merchants. Apparently less legend than I thought. Or been told. But hopefully as glorious as legends proclaim. Regardless, for all who come seeking asylum, it opens its arms to you and your companions. You are free to call it home. Like all who have come before you, you will honor our only request. That you make yourselves useful to our city. I'm sure your skills will place you in high demand. Noctis's first Technomancer. Exciting. You'll have all the help you need with Nisha and Lucky, who I believe you've met. We'll give you a room to get some rest. I hear your trip was quite eventful. There is something else. I would like to personally discuss my expectations of you. You hear? War between Abundance and Aurora's winding down. Aurora took Green Hope. Just left Ophir a few hours ago and didn't hear anything about that. That really surprise you? Your little censorship office probably hasn't decided what to do with the information yet. No, no. Don't look at me like that. You don't belong to abundance anymore. The truce doesn't behoove us. During peace, the corporations become more suspicious of us and our business suffers. Our city could even be... discovered, which would be catastrophic. In legend, it must remain. What are you... No, no, let me speak. Your welcome here comes at a price. I want you to attack an Aurora convoy. It's right up your alley. And why would I do that? I didn't finish. You will do it in abundance uniforms, dissolving the truce. Do what you want with the soldiers, but let the civilians live. They need to be witnesses that will report back to Aurora. So you keep the war going? Precisely. And while you're at it, Bring back the uniforms of the Aurora Technomancers you dispatch. I'm sure I'll find a use for them down the road. Ah, another thing, much more trivial this time, I assure you. The rover you came in on, I'd like you to move it. Put it wherever you want, do whatever you want with it. Just make sure it's not in the way in the canyon. I just don't want Ophir to stumble over the machine and, as a result, find the road that leads here. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Oh yes, one last thing. My spies gave me a little tidbit that might interest you. Right after your escape, the ASC arrested your Technomancer brothers, that's what you call them, right? From Ophir. Their fate's uncertain, but if I was you, I'd be worried for them. If you're worried enough to want to help them, maybe we can set up some sand sails to get you back. And your help comes at what cost? Assuming it's not out of the kindness of your heart. Don't be so bitter, Zachariah. Business is business, not personal. I just thought, a few Technomancers on our side might be useful. Hm. Okay. Ah, Informationen über die Orte. Ähm, die Personen der Gruppierungen. Informationen über die Mission. Machen wir erstmal die Mission. How'd you find out about my brother so quickly? Well, besides the fact that your accident and eventful arrival slowed you down, my messenger's sand sails make up in speed what they lack in protection. And of course, the arrests of Abundance's most powerful strike forces were worthy of dispatching agents to keep an eye on the situation. You haven't even given a thought to how this disrupts the current balance of forces, have you? You know why they were arrested? The official statement is that they were suspected of treason. Victor's pretext, I'm sure. 
He's a man who hates anything not under his control. Was probably planning this for quite a while. He didn't get what he wanted going at it indirectly, so he just took it head on. Whatever hope you have for their lives, I'd start to come to terms. They're probably being tortured for their secrets as we speak. And as soon as they give them up, they'll be executed. If you care about them... I don't know how I can move the rover. Pretty damaged. I'm sure you can find a way to move it up here. Not sure sand sails can help, but maybe you can couple it to some ostriches. Maybe your explorer friend didn't tell you, but some corporations would start a war to own such a machine. I'd repair it if I were you. Hell, sell it if you don't think you'll ever need it. I'll be honest, though. Rovers offer freedom no other transportation does. Word is, they can even reach the North and South Poles. Just something to think about. You want to attack a convoy to reignite a war? You know how many people die in those wars? How many are mutilated? Taken prisoner? Not precisely. But I think I have a clear idea of the numbers, yeah. Every battle has its purpose, Zechariah Manser. Abundance has fought Aurora for years for more power. Out of idealism that their philosophies are more righteous than Aurora's. We don't just fight the corporations because of their damned ideals. What we do, we do for our survival. For the survival of the misfits of Mars, the rejected, the poor, the outcasts of corporations. We fight for those who find a home with us, those I promised to protect. This mission worries you, and I get that. I do. Which is why I'm not asking you to attack your old brothers in arms, but rather just carry out the same attacks you did countless times before, under different command. Okay. Uh, information about water. The docks. On my way in, I saw a large area with a bunch of sailing machines. Ah, yes, the loading zone, where we store, empty, and fix our vehicles when they need it. All the merchandise that comes in gets sorted there, too, before getting redirected to the various city neighborhoods. It's a rather key area for the city. Without the sand sails, we'd have a damn difficult time getting our merch out to all the cities. Of course, we can't use them everywhere, and often use other means of transport, like the Shadow Path, or ostriches. But those machines, as you call them, do the bulk of the heavy lifting. It's our fleet. We're damn proud of it too. Die Schluchten. Why'd you pick the canyons to build your city? Who knows? That decision was made by people a century ago. But if you're asking my opinion, the canyons serve a dual purpose, providing transit and partial shade from the sun. I don't know if you know, but they connect us all over, even to the big cities, and they serve as natural protection making it hard to find us without a guide. They're our shadow paths, our roof and our ramparts, all thanks to nature. What's the gate neighborhood? It's the neighborhood around the city's current entrance, much less affluent than the heart of the city, and it keeps growing and getting better. Usually the first place newcomers tend to plant their roots. They'll go and dig or build their house where they can find space. A damn lively area, eclectic. And sometimes those differences, combined with the proximity of the canyon, can make it a bit dangerous. But we do our best to keep it safe. Try to find ways to bring the different communities together, rather than allow their division to fester. Die Karabane Serai. What can you tell me about the Caravansary neighborhood? It's the Pulse of Noctis, the very first place built by traveling merchants, built in the recesses of the labyrinth so they'd have a place to meet, trade, rest, drop their loads. Then the city exploded as it opened itself up to all those who were homeless elsewhere, and the simple building it once was became the beautiful palace it is today. It's still the place for merchants to gather, trade, Swap tips and news and get some rest. It's also become the home for the merchant prince, the elected chief of all traveling merchants. Okay. Information about Person and Gruppierung. Anton Woke. 
What's the word on Anton Rogue? A bastard like no other. My worst enemy and biggest threat. I've done my damnedest to make sure my existence, like this city, is little more than a vague rumor. Anton Rogue, though, knows damn well that me and this city are real. Just doesn't know where to find us. At least I hope not. His big business competition hopes to push the power of his organization into every corporation. And what better way for him to do it than through us? I do what I can to prevent him from reaching us, but he's not a man who quits till he gets what he wants. Then why even try to stop him? It's just business, right? Eh, true enough. But his methods aren't good for my business, or yours. He's a product of the Abundance Regime, and because of that, he only knows terror and violence as his tools. I prefer, well, more tactical methods. That's ASC. What are your thoughts on the ASC? The cornerstone of Victor's dubious ascent to power. You want to deal with Abundance, you need to go through the ASC. You think Victor's out to control Abundance? Out to? No, 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 he already does. Didn't your Technomancer friend's arrest prove that? A dowser to boot, dowsers, the assembly, whoever, all pawns to be sacrificed, or puppets to be manipulated in his games of blackmail, played with the secrets he's collected on everyone. He's brilliant, merciless, a master manipulator who's turned nearly every citizen into one of his agents, all without raising suspicion. Most in abundance work for ASC ambitions, while those who don't will soon disappear. Überfluss. What can you tell me about abundance? More than others, probably, because I see it all from the outside, and what I see isn't tainted by any loyalty to a mother country. Every last bit of it is harsh, from its structure to its hierarchy, and trust me, it's gonna topple one day. The administration's unending power leads to unending corruption, which keeps the Vori fed and keeps the control where it is. The plan is to stifle any bright young things in the corporation that might hope for promotion. Zachariah, we have two possible outcomes. One, Victor seizes power, abundance survives, and crushes its own citizens beneath its boots. Or two, Abundance finds a way to evolve and liberate itself from its current ways of thinking. The type of regime there now, though, can only survive with an equally powerful leader. Something Victor understands. Okay. Um, das war's dann genug über die Informationen. Wir haben ja gerade ganz viele Quests bekommen. Moment. Uh, Quests. Moment, das haben wir alles bekommen. Wir müssen eine Zufluchtschätze. Wir müssen, das haben wir gemacht. Okay. Äh, was habe ich gemacht? Jetzt muss man den Befehl des Händlerprinzen. Trifft dich mit Schieß Mission von. Okay. Äh. Okay. Jetzt haben wir so viele Missionen bekommen. Wir müssen die wahrscheinlich erstmal alle hinter uns bringen. Gut, äh, ja. Was machen wir als erstes? Wo ist unser Zimmer? Da ist unser Zimmer, ne? Ist das unser Zimmer? Ich glaube ja. Dann gehen wir mal runter. Und dann ruhen wir uns mal aus. Ich mal mit. Ich glaube, das war mein Zimmer, oder? He's intelligent, but shifty. He wishes to fire up another conflict, another war. Blood, corpses, misery. Those things follow a merchant of death. We should never have left Ophir. I would have died there, Scott. I'm sorry you had to come with me. I really am. You could have stayed. But I have to go see what Dandolo wants. I know it sounds bad, but what do you think Abundance or Aurora would do if they found our little outcast city? Dandolo may be cruel, but in the end, he only wants what's good for Noctis. 
Das kann man sehen, wie man will. Ah, das ist also mein Zimmerchen. Juhu, ich habe ein Zimmer. Bis zum Morgen ausruhen. Das sind 16 St Machen wir das mal. Ruhen wir uns bis zum Morgen aus. So, jetzt haben wir es bis zum Morgen ausgeruht. Was haben wir hier? Gegenstände lagern. Okay, krass, kann man machen. Das ist also mein Zimmerchen. Juhu. Geh's mal weg, Nisha. Nisha, hau ab. Du stehst mir im Weg. So. Mal gucken, welche Mission wir als erstes machen müssen. Das wird spaßig. Das wird jetzt eine richtig spaßige Sache. Hab schon gehofft, dass es äh, nicht mehr... Stop being so impatient. The prince wants a recollection of the journey and news updates from our distant contacts. It's normal and necessary. Without his vigilance, Noctis would be nothing more than a pack of misfits. Yeah, yeah. But while the prince is chatting, my goods just sit there. My perishable goods. Quit your whining. If you've waited for months, a few hours won't kill you. Okay. Um. So, wohin müssen wir als erstes hin? Betritt die Kapelle, finde die Buchmacher der Arena, tötet die Sturmheuschrecke. Okay. Was haben wir hier? Nisha. Warte mal. Nisha ist auch hier mit uns. Warum steht denn hier? Hä? Was ist denn hier mit Unico? Okay, Kaufmann. Lass ihn mal nach Noctus bringen. Okay. Dann machen wir das mal als erstes hier. Und zwar muss ich jetzt wie lang, wie lang, wie lang, wie, muss, wie lang muss ich gehen? Wir müssen hier und dann. Okay. So. Ja, hier ein bisschen orientieren. So furchtbar. Dieses neue Orientierung hier. Habe ich jetzt gerade so in O4. Naja, da habe ich eigentlich auch nicht. In O4 habe ich mich eigentlich auch nicht so gut zurechtgefunden. Was möchte Nisha denn von uns? Zack, perfect timing. You remember Abby Goodman, friend of mine you helped before? Yeah, of course. She really your friend or all just part of the cover you had going on? No, no. She is. She's a spy for Noctis too, though. She's actually been working on something for me and finally managed to get some info I'd been trying to get. Ihre Geschichte anhören. What information was that? I I spent a part of my life in a rehabilitation camp after my arrest in Ophir. It was the worst time of my existence, and I've always wondered how I'd ended up here. Who had turned us in? We were just a group of street kids. We would steal food here and there, but we weren't dangerous. However, we were arrested and deported to a camp like hardened criminals or terrorists. What happened followed me for many years, until I learned that an important member of the Vori clique was responsible for the deportation of dozens of people. Most of them were innocent, but a nuisance for the mob. I want to find that guy. I want to know if it's he who got us deported. I want to understand why and make him pay. For me and my companions, of course, but also for those poor people who hadn't asked for anything. Hilfe zu sagen. I understand. That man seems to be a real scumbag. I'll help you find him. Thank you, Zack. Keine Ursache. Persönliche Fragen stellen. Wie sie sich zu Spionen wurde dann. How the hell did you go from being an artist in Ophir to a spy in Noctis? Less of a stretch than you think. After all, a good lie, like good art, has to be close to your reality, right? Truth? I was an orphan. Parents did die, and I was on the street and got sucked into a gang. We all got arrested pretty quick and ended up in a rehab camp. Swore I'd die there a couple of times because I wasn't going to let them brainwash me. And they didn't take too kindly to that. I took the beatings but got to keep my mind. Then the day came. Noctis attacked. They freed a lot of us and brought me here, took care of us, gave us a chance to have lives again. So, 
I felt like I owed them something in return, and offered to go back to Ophir as a spy. Good thing, too. Otherwise, who would have torn you out of Victor's grip and brought you back here? Hmm. Yeah, I fear him. You always been alone? Or never had anyone you cared about? You mean guys? Why? You the jealous type, Zack. Afraid of some competition? Scared you won't measure up? <laughs> there was one guy, Nick. I was only ten, but I was head over heels for him. He died in the rehab camp after we were all deported around the same time, though. Other than him, a couple flings here and there, but nothing much more serious than that. You asking because you heard the rumors and no fear that I'd sleep with anyone wearing a medal? No, I was just... I did what I had to do, Zack. To do my job. Never cared about those guys. That's the truth. You just did what you had to do. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Ah, ah, okay. Talent bonus, cool. Musikgeschmack. You miss making music? I miss performing. I mean, I still sing for myself here and there, write new lyrics when I feel inspired. But the moments I shared with my audience, it was so intense when I felt everyone humming with me. How about you sing for me? Maybe another time. But I'd love to. There's something intimate in sharing your art, like sharing your soul. It's why I feel like music can unite people across corporations, on opposite sides of wars or causes. It's simply beautiful. And in between the notes, our differences seem to disappear. The second all this ends, I'll get back to it. It's what I was born for, and I'm not one to deny destiny. Hmm, okay. Dann würde ich sagen, ich beende hier die Folge und dann würde ich sagen, wir starten gleich mal in der nächsten Folge die neue Mission. Bleibt mir gewogen und bis morgen. Ciao!